Welcome to Juniper Networks Educational Services Learning Bytes. In this segment, we're going to cover the Juniper Wireless LAN CLI basics. My name is Stephen Elliott. I'll be your host for this segment. In this segment, we're going to cover an overview of setting up the CLI, the three different modes of the WLAN controller, and also basic setup commands. The Wireless LAN Controller Interface and Configuration Options. To set up the management interface, we can use a serial console cable with the VT100 emulation mode from the CLI interface and set the serial communication to 9608, none, one, and no flow control. A second option we have is to do SSH by plugging in a network cable to any port on a factory defaulted wireless LAN controller and plugging into your laptop you can put in the 192.168.100.1 address for the controller, which is its factory defaulted network address. You get a .2 for your laptop. Telnet is disabled by default. Other ports that you should be aware of are TLS port 8889 is used by Ringmaster for Ringmaster to controller communication, so it uses this to push down for example, configuration changes. We have built into the mobility system software, which will be ported over to Junos in the future. We have port 443 that's used with HTTPS. WebView is a single switch management interface. It allows for basic configuration, one of which is to allow you to do a web quick start. SNMP management is limited but can be fully configured to support all three versions of SNMP with a host of traps that you can customize. Other configuration options include we can set up the box using the CLI Quick Start built into the Mobility System Software Operating System. We also can use the Web Quick Start from WebView or we can use the Ringmaster System Setup Wizard. By uploading a factory defaulted box into Ringmaster uh, directly from your PC, we can then run the system setup wizard and do a baseline configuration and fully configure more advanced things like wireless services. The wireless LAN controller has three different modes to it. Boot mode is a special diagnostics mode normally reserved for JTAC when they have to do deep level diagnostics. There are two things that you might do in the boot mode. One would be to set the box back to factory default or to change back to a previous partition if your new image were corrupt. Login mode is a very limited mode similar to the operational mode in Junos. With this we have a limited number of show commands that we can issue along with commands such as directory and ping and also the enable mode command. The enable mode command allows us to get into the enable mode which is like the configuration mode inside of Junos. When you're done you issue the command quit this will take you back to the login prompt. So boot mode is designated with the prompt boot greater than sign Login mode is designated with the system name greater than sign, and the enable mode is the system name with the pound sign. Let's now go through some CLI basics. On the factory defaulted box, or if you're just plugging your serial console cable into a wireless LAN controller, there's no username or no password enforcement. So we get to the login mode where you can see that we have the name of the box with the greater than sign. If we do question mark for help, we can see if we have a limited number of commands that we can run in the login mode. Login mode is similar to operational mode inside of Junos. Now from here we want to get into the enable mode. We can type the word enable or use a shortcut of typing EN and press enter. There's no password on a factory defaulted box so we just press enter there. That takes us to the the pound sign which lets us know we're in configuration mode. Now this box is already 
had the CLI quick start run on it so we can do a show config so that we can take a look at this particular configuration. As you can see we have a set system name, set system IP address, set country code. Country code defines your legal channels that you can use for wireless. We have the set enable pass, we have set VLAN for the different ports. We also have this box has a special requirement to set up a separate management VLAN. In this case it's VLAN 2017 for our virtual lab that we named VLAN 2017. We also assign port number 1 with a tag of 2017 and then we set the interface to 2017 with the management IP address. From here, another good command to run is the show tech port command. This is a script that will run a host of show commands that will give you the status of the box. Rather than learning individual commands at the moment when you first get a factory defaulted box, I suggest that you run the show tech support command. This allows you to see the system details about what the model is, um, also things about the boot time as well as things like fan status, temperature, your memory utilization. You also see commands like show license which will tell you how the box is licensed for how many controller um, APs that it can support, um, any advanced or update licenses that might be installed on the box. You will see that show version detail gives you a deeper level of information about the operating system that's currently running. Other commands it runs will be show boot to show you the boot time and also information about what it booted off of, which image, as well as the boot partition in that. You get similar when you do a show version detail. Show configuration we've already covered. Other good commands in there are show NTP, show IP HTTPS. Another good command is show SNMP status. As we mentioned, we support all three versions of SNMP, and V1 is enabled by default. Show port status is another good command to know, along with like show port transceiver. Show VLAN is also another good command to know to see check the status of your VLANs. Show interface to see if your interface is up and working. If you're having trouble with the ping command, that might be one of the first things that I will check is the show interface command. Show FDB to look at your forwarding database, show mobility domain, show network domain, show tunnel. Uh, these are all good commands to know. They're a little bit more advanced. What I look for is for basic um, configuration type stuff. A good command to know is like the show AP unconfigured. If you've got APs plugged into your network, they're on the same management interface. Um, you can see they're broadcast with the show AP unconfig. If you do have configured APs, then you can check their status with show AP stat or show AP status for both. There are many other good commands that are run in the show tech support command, one of which is the show crypto certificate command. This allows you to evaluate the certificates. There are three major certificates that are used. There's one for admin, there's one for web, and there's one for EAP. Those are the three major certificates and you may have to go and run the crypto generate command to generate the keys for new certificates and crypto generate um, self dash sign command to generate one for a new certificate based off of those new key pairs. We do self sign certificates. That's a feature built into the controller. The show um, crypto certificate web you will notice that certificates are good for three years. You will make sure today's date falls within that date. You can do the command show time date to verify the date of the controller and you set that when you run the quick start command. DIR shows you that we have several different areas to the directory. We have the permanent storage area where you see the file configuration with backup copies that we've saved off. Um, we can do that with the save config to save it in file called configuration that's used for boot up and we can back up a copy of it with the save config and then whatever file name we want to save it to. Uh, we also have an area for our logs as well as our boot 0 and our boot 1 
um, partitions for the different versions that we're going to load up. The active partition is the one with the asterisk next to it. I'm going to go ahead and quit now. That gives you a brief overview of the CLI and a good command to start with always is the show tech support command to take a look at the um, status of the box and also to learn some of the major commands. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.